Okay guys, Gamekeeper John here, uh, doing a custom job for a lad off my forum. Uh, he wants one of these. Uh, this is a Pocket Rocket 2, set up for the right hand with the palm swell and the finger grooves. But uh, this one's going to be a Pocket Rocket 3, similar, but set up for the left hand with the palm swell, the finger grooves, etc. Uh, started off, uh, epoxy two part resin, two chunks together. Uh, obviously I can't do the palm swell with the router or anything like that, it's all got to be done with a Dremel, uh, like so. Uh, we're doing it all with this, so I'll take you through step by step photos. And there uh, we'll see how it turns out, uh, I'm looking forward to doing it to be honest. Uh, at the moment it's 36mm thick. So we'll start getting to work with a Dremel now. And then I'll show you step by step photos every 10 minutes or so, to uh, how we get on. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Okay guys, starting to get the rough shape now, obviously there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, this is going to throw out some amazing patterns once it starts to be rounded off and as the finger grooves through and the thumb braces and that. Uh, don't forget we're going to have finger grooves in the back there as well, coming round and all that side will be finished. So I'll check back to you once we've done a little bit more. Okay guys, starting to get some sort of shape now, uh, I've just rounded the two fork tips off. Yeah, a lot of work in these. I'm going to start rounding the sides off now, this will take a lot of the bulk out, uh, as you can see on that one. Uh, once the sides get rounded you lose a lot of the bulk, and uh, then we'll start on the finger grooves and that the other side. Uh, after this finger groove and that thumb brace, and this lump here and whatever else. So I'll have another 10 minutes with the Dremel guys, and uh, we'll see how we're getting on. Okay guys, uh, we're starting to get some shape now, uh, still a lot of work to be done, a lot of the bulk to be took out of it. Uh, to be honest, I'm still not sure how it's going to turn out. I've started to round off, as you can see. Uh, pinky hole fits nice. Uh, the palm swell is in exactly the right place. Uh, so is the finger. Well, the thumb brace isn't there yet, but it will be put in soon. And uh, so will the finger groove be there. So uh, well, we'll have another 10-20 minutes with the Dremel and get back to you guys. As I say, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But uh, it's looking nice. It's feeling comfortable. Uh, once we took a bit out this side as well, just allow your fingers to wrap round and so on. So uh, give me another 10 20 minutes and I'll let's see how we get on then. Okay, guys, we're getting some rough shaping now. Uh, we've got the palm swell, thumb brace, and the finger groove there. Uh, it's going to do some work on the other side now to take this bulkiness out. Uh, I'm not quite sure if the camera's picking it up, so I'm just going to take a couple of quick pictures now. It's uh, almost done. Uh, as you can see we've had to go slimmer there, as with the same as we did on that one uh, for the fingers to go in, because obviously the fingers wrap into the gap, took it nice uh, exactly the same on this one uh, pinky hole, palm swell, thumb brace, finger groove uh, it's a bit awkward for me to do this because I'm normally holding my left hand but uh, I'll just show you, uh, the finger gap, wrap your fingers in very nice grip so there's a little bit more shaping to do then uh, we'll get it sanded get it coated in polyurethane should really bring the markings out and uh, then I'll get back to you with the finished product guys ok guys here's the finished one this is the one that uh, Lard Sid wanted a replica of and this is the one that I did it's actually much better finished uh, as I'm sure you can see like a glass finish all over uh, the thin part round here nicely done round the pinky hole uh, as I said, that them two, that fin bit there is to get your fingers in, otherwise you're struggling to get round it. Uh, with that fin part there, wraps in lovely. Thumb brace, finger groove. Uh, it's actually come out fantastic, better than the uh, original if you ask me, finish wise and uh, quality wise. Uh, signed by myself in there. Uh, I'm going to get in touch with Lard now, ask him whether he wants hunting or target bands fitted, uh, how he wants them fitted or whatever. Uh, yeah. Now I'll tell the truth, before I started it I wasn't too sure how it was going to turn out because these ones where you just have to do it all by hand with a Dremel uh, there's no stencils to follow, there's no you know, router to help you out, it's all by hand one slip with a sander and you took a chunk out <laughs> but, uh, it's actually come out fantastic really nice uh, shame it wasn't set up for the right hand or I'd have been keeping it lad <laughs> only joking mate but uh, yeah, as I say, I'll get in touch now, find out what bands he wants fitted, whether he wants them folded, attached straight, whatever. And uh, we get this shipped off in the morning. Uh, absolutely beautiful markings in the wood there. So the best thing about using this uh, this stripey wood is when you do go down in layers, and you, know, you thin it out, you can make sure you get it even by using uh, the layers of the wood. Each one is about a millimetre. 
uh, thick so you can work out from how many layers you're going through whether you got it even or not but uh, as I say fits great uh, and I'm sure he'll be happy with it so I uh, hope you all had a good Christmas guys and uh, wish you all a very happy new year uh, and that's it guys speak to you soon